Uh, hello, we are from Team Two, and our project is entity-based extraction for uh, healthcare domain. Uh, um, the data sets that we've considered have been taken from the website where we'll be having uh, various types of diseases that patients have been suffering from, and uh, we'll be given a description of the diseases along with its symptoms and the precautions that can be taken. Uh, so this will all be registered in a kind of a paragraph from which uh, we'll be extracting uh, keywords uh, such as uh, the disease and its description along with its uh, symptom and the pre uh, precaution. So the OWL file uh, having those classes are as follows. So uh, as you can see the classes here, uh, the disease with its description and uh, precaution and the symptom the object property, the relationships having uh, the disease, uh, having its disease description, precaution, symptom. Uh, and we've generated various uh, instances uh, based on it, based on the data sets that we have. And uh, these are a few of the instances that we have uh, for, for which all the uh, relations, uh, uh, relations and assertions have been assigned. Um, so uh, this is uh, the OWL file description. And uh, uh, the uh, the generated OWL file is then uh, hosted on the uh, servers. Uh, and then based on the uh, UI, we'll be getting the output. So let's proceed uh, with the server part. So uh, we'll be using Amazon EC2 instance for this. And uh, uh, let's get into the EC2 server. Um, so, uh, so we'll be hosting our Fuseki server on uh, Amazon EC2, uh, where a port is generated here from, uh, uh, as you can see, the port is 3030. And uh, based on that, uh, we'll be having a, uh, so this is a, this is our server, uh, which is active here. So we'll be uploading our uh, OWL file here to generate the tri uh, triples. So this is our OWL file. And based on it, uh, we'll be getting the triples generated. Um, so uh, for the various queries, we'll be getting our uh, responses here. Um, uh, uh, example uh, query being here and we've get, we are, we'll be getting the table of responses here with this object predicate and uh, object. So this is where we'll be uh, hosting our uh, uh, Sparkle query where, we, uh, where we'll be getting our response. And, uh, and so this uh, Sparkle endpoint is hosted in our, uh, hosted uh, is uh, taken as an endpoint and given in the UI, uh, UI which when invoked, uh, uh, which when invoked hits this uh, Sparkle endpoint and gives us the output. So uh, let's uh, uh, take a look at the UI. Uh, before taking the uh, look at UI, uh, before, yeah. Before taking a look at the UI, uh, let's go through the, uh, so uh, I would like to give a glance about the contributions done by our uh, uh, teammates. So uh, Basant have been uh, responsible for the collection of the data sets and uh, as well as documenting them um, and uh, creation of the UI. So Himashree has been working on the ontology creation of uh, creating the OWL files uh, with all the necessary class properties and the instance creation of collecting the data sets and uh, establishing the relationships and the assertions between them. So uh, Sri Rama have been responsible uh, for the generation and distribution of the data and also setting and hosting of the Fuseki servers and uh, creating the instances and uh, uh, enabling the uh, hosting of uh, Fuseki server on the EC2 uh, instance. Uh, so uh, Kaushik have been responsible for uh, um, using uh, Spacey and uh, Spacey library and the neural uh, neural core of uh, pipeline uh, to pre-process the uh, uh, data set uh, to train it and uh, get the triple generation through which are uh, instantly used to get the summarized paragraph, which is our end goal of uh, uh, of uh, the project. And Ganesh have been responsible for uh, 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 documenting all the results and. Uh, uh, checking the data and uh, giving uh, generating sparkle queries and uh, 
um, checking up the answers and uh, so this is the glance of the uh, contributions done by the team members. So let's uh, take a look at the UI. Mm -hmm. So uh, so this is the UI that we've uh, already um, uh, run the UI on Angular. Uh, so where we'll be, uh, we'll be creating a UI page in which we'll be, we'll be giving the input uh, input here and we'll be generating the uh, summarized uh, uh, summarized text uh, so uh, so as you can see this is our simple ui we have created this using angular so these um, in the in the angular ui we've uh, given the uh, sparkle endpoint hosted in the fusaki server which is in the uh, ec2 instance we have given it here so when the uh, angular uh, ui is run so the uh, sparkle endpoint is invoked there and we'll be getting the necessary output here uh, which is the summarized paragraph uh, the end goal of a project so this uh, so the simple uh, interface where we'll be giving our input so as you can see the input is given uh, and we'll be getting a summarized paragraph of the uh, uh, as described in the our file with the uh, the uh, particular disease with the uh, with its symptoms and precautions so so this is the um, interface where we'll be using our web ontology and uh, um, and ui uh, using this we'll be getting our uh, entity extraction and uh, summarization of uh, the data thank you